Unapeleka tuvole pole. Aha. Unapeleka tuvole pole. Aha. 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 Aha.
Celebrate Jesus in a clap offering. The Lord is great. Yes, every song you sing is sing with a revelation. What was what was in your mind as you are saying? Yes, ni wangu ni wauzima wa milele. Ulukuna fikiri anini ukimba yo. You know it's a confession. So it means. Yeye ndiye amekupatia eternal life and if you know what eternal life is ah glory be to god it means a lot you are divine say i'm divine how many know uko na uzima wa milele ndani yako ndani ya miguu yako ndani ya kichwa yani all of from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet christ in me my eternal life hallelujah Amen. Hallelujah. So I want us to draw closer. Any seat that is not occupied, I want you to fill it up in the name of Jesus as we prepare to go to the next segment. Hallelujah. Our ushers, you can help us. Father, you kiskia, you kiskia, unakaribia. Praise the Lord. We welcome our online members. Thank you for tuning in. You shall be blessed. Glory be to God. You shall be blessed together with us in the mighty name of Jesus. Ipande situjaze hizi vititu ziko hapa mbele yako. Hiyo kititu iko hapo mbele yako. That is your seat. Hallelujah. That is your seat. Glory be to the Lord Jesus. Amen. Hii kitiko hapa iko na mtu. Ijaze tafadhali. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Tuko pamoja. Tumekaa pamoja. Kama kuna kitiko mbele yako pia tu ijaze tu. Ijaze tu kindly. Tukae tu pamoja katika jina. Tufanye tu si si, si, si ni vijana tuchangamke tu. Yaani yaani tu ukiona si tunachangamkia glory be to God. Ya yeah, una unajua eh tu, tukae pamoja sababu tunapenda Mungu. Hizo viti zimebaki tuzifeel tu. Yaani tu hallelujah 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 glory be to God. You are doing very well. You are the best in Jesus holy name. Hallelujah. Yes, right now I want you to just have your seat for a few minutes in the name of Jesus. I want us to recap 
what pastor taught us last week. Praise the Lord. Do you remember what pastor ministered to us in our youth service last week? Nakumbuka. Where are your notes? Where are your notes for last week youth service? Nakumbuka is a point. Point pastor alitupatia. Glory be to God. So I want someone to come and share with us. Ninini pastor alituambia praise the Lord. Naona Naona ume, umepata. Umepata. Hallelujah. Tulisoma which book? The book of The book of Ecclesiastes. Praise the Lord. Was it the book of Ecclesiastes ama Ecclesiasticus? Not Ecclesiasticus. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Was it Ecclesiastes or Ecclesiasticus? Was it Ecclesiastes? Chapter, it was chapter? Chapter 12. Hallelujah. And with that, which other chapter did we read? Yes? Lamentations chapter 3 verse? Verse? Verse 26. Actually, every young person should know that. Hallelujah. So I want to welcome our sister. Come and tell us what you got from that service. Karibu. Let's appreciate her as she comes. Uneza kuja na notebook, just in case you need to refer. Ama yuko in your spirit. Sawa. Tusalimie, tuambie jineako, alafu tuambie last week youth service. This is what I got. Praise the Lord. Amen. My name is Catherine Muinde. And... Last Thursday, I learned that during my youth times, I'm supposed to bear the yoke. That is, during the hard times, I'm not supposed to give up. I'm not supposed to leave the work of God. That is, I'm supposed to focus on it for the sake of my generations. Amen. Amen. Let's appreciate Muinde. Hallelujah. Appreciate better, 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 better. Was that what Pastor told us? That in your youth you need to bear your, your yoke. You need to be, you remember the version we read, you need to be disciplined. Cindy? Yes, this is the time to, to prepare for your future. Glory be to God. I want to receive now a brother to tell us another thing that they learned in the youth service. Praise the Lord. Amen. Can we receive who wants to come? Karibu, Karibu. Brother Peter Kamande. Let's appreciate this mighty man. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory. Praise God, youth. Amen. Praise God again. Amen. I learned uh, from the book of Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiasticus. No, this one. Oh, Ecclesiastes. Yes. <laughs> that. We should fear God and Amen. honor his commands, for this is man's all. Amen. As young men, we should fear him and, and keep his commands. Amen. Yes. Glory be to God. Amen. That was in Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse? 13. Verse 13. Able to echo Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes 12? 12, 13. 13. Praise the Lord. We have to read it. We have to confirm. Amen. Let's read together, young people. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole. Fear God and keep his commandment for this is man's. Oh, let's appreciate Brother Peter as he takes his seat. Anybody who wants to add something? Glory be to God. The last person for today. Hallelujah. Pastor mentioned something about the Proverbs 31 lady. Nakumbuka? Alisema nini? Kamu nakumbuka kujo tuambie. Praise Jesus. Come and tell us, brother, Minister Leonard. Come and tell us. Glory be to God. That is the point I wanted us to remember. Amen. Amen. There is no beauty without God. Hallelujah. Alafu akaongezea ingine akasema you should desire to know the plan and the purpose of God over your life. Amen. Amen. Na hizo zingine. 
Amen, amen. I love what he mentioned, Kitu, about that in Proverbs 31, that I, it doesn't talk so much about the, about the Proverbs 31 lady. At one she's so beautiful. Eh? She praise the Lord. But there is something in emphasize you up. The woman that fears God is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's now stand to our feet as we prepare to receive our pastor in the name of Jesus, all of us. Was that a good recap? Even for those who are not in the house, it is good for a young man to bear his yoke. Hallelujah. And then we learn that the whole duty of man is to fear God and to do what? Keep his commandments. Why don't you lift your hands and tell God, help me this year. Help me this year to abide by those principles that pastor gave us last week in the name of Jesus. Let us pray that the Lord will help us to bear our yoke according to Lamentations chapter 3. Ambia buwana, nisaidie kama kijana, baba nijit. Hallelujah. Let us all pray. Let us pray. Lord, I declare I will bear my yoke in my youth. I will be disciplined. Yes, I will run the race in the name of the Lord Jesus. I will serve God with my life. I will honor God with my life. I will not destroy my life in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we declare that our whole duty is to honor God, is to fear God, to keep his commandments all the day of our lives. We declare we shall honor God. Say amen with me. We declare we shall fear God with our lives and we shall keep his commandments. We declare we shall bear our yoke even this year of advancement. Say amen. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 We've come to a great time to receive our man of God. Let's appreciate pastor as he comes. Celebrate him better. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Appreciate Jesus in a better way. It is Jesus we are clapping to. I said it is Jesus we are clapping to. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. I said glory to the most high God. Amen and amen. Are you happy to be in the house of the Lord? Are you excited that you know Jesus in the days of your youth? Hallelujah. Something needs to be wiped here. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. I'm excited to see every one of you that has come today. Your life will never be the same again. I said your life will never be the same again. Pigia Yesu makofi mazuri. Never ever again. I said never ever again. Will your life ever be the same? If I was you, I would say it over myself. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Amen. amen and amen. amen. Let's appreciate the praise and worship. They have done a good job. They have done a good job. They have done a good job. We've been covering a powerful teaching from Sunday. And that is the teaching on strength. Hallelujah. The Bible says in the gospel of First John that the glory of a young man is in their strength. The glory of a young man. Tell your neighbor, greet your neighbor, tell the neighbor, pastor is greeting you. Salimia ye vizuri, muambia mchungaji amekusalimia. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. The glory. Whoever is on that laptop, may you receive an impartation. The glory of a young man is in their strength. How many young men do I have here? 
and they are saying, I am strong. Because to bear the yoke of salvation in your youth, you need strength. And you are already empowered because the glory Amen. The glory of the young man is in their strength. The splendor of the old man is their gray head. Uh, uh, first John chapter number three. It says, I write to you young men because you are strong. So, and then you complement it with Proverbs 20 verse 29. The glory of a young man. Can you read that scripture? The glory of a young man is in their strength. And the splendor of old men is in their gray head. So, there is no time that you, lack, you should lack strength. Hallelujah. I have written to you, fathers, chapter 2, verse 14. I have written, this mic is not okay. This sound is not well. I have written to you. Can we read? I have written to you, fathers, because you have known him who is from the beginning. I have written to you, young men, because you are strong. And the word of God abides in you. And you have overcome the wicked one. Yes. Hallelujah. I write to you, young men, because you are strong. I write to you, young men, because you are strong. I want you to lift up your right hand and say, I am strong. Weka yo mandiko kwa kiswahili, then you take us to Proverbs 20:29. Hallelujah. Ebu tusome kwa kiswahili. Na siwasiki, siwasiki. Jamani tukae kama vijana. Tukae vile mlikuwa mnashangilia World Cup. Amen. Yesu ni zaidi ya Messi. Jesus is more than Messi and more than Bampe. Hata hiyo majina ikifiki, hata ifiki Yesu. Ya Yesu ni haleluya. Ebu tusome kwa kiswahili. Nimewaandikia ninyi akina baba kwa sababu mumemjua yeye aliye tangu mwanzoni. Nimewaandikia ninyi vijana kwa sababu muna nguvu na neno la mungu linakanda ni enu. Nanyi mumemushinda yule muovu. Inachukua nguvu kudumisha neno la buwana. Nasema inachukua nguvu. Salimia mtu, tell your neighbor, it takes strength to have the word of God dwelling in you. Number two, it takes strength to obey the word of God. There are many people in church, but they are failed in obeying God. Because it takes strength to say no to sin. It takes strength. Hallelujah. Ebu soma hiyo medhali 29. Inasema fahari ya vijana ni nguvu zao. Haya ya ya. Kumbe iko fahari. Wacha kukaa ni kama umezeeka. Ili hali wewe ni kijana. Furahia ujana wako. Toa nguvu zako kwa Bwana. Ah, nasema mutole Bwana nguvu zako. Hallelujah. Kama kuna ijibada inastahili kuwa na nguvu ni ya vijana. Na mutu yote hako chini ya 40 years ni kijana. Sijui shida hile inakuwa na vijana. Tukiwaambia muna nguvu, nikijaribu kuwaambia hiko uzuri wa vijana, muna kaka kama waze. Ili hali waze, wanataka kaka kama vijana. Ukiuliza, uuru, abla staff, walikuwa nasema, ye ni kijana wajubili. Ha? President wetu amesema ye ni kijana. Sasa wewe utakuwa mgini wanani. Inuwa mkono sema mi nakataa kuzeeka. Nakataa kuzeeswa mawazo. Nakataa kuzeeka kuonekana. Nakataa kukaa kama mutu eleweki. Mimi ni kukumbe hiko fahari. Kumbe hiko furaha. Ya kuwa kijana. Hallelujah. There is joy in being a young man. There is joy. Hey. 
kuna vijana ukutana nao anakaa hivi ni kama mkokoteni na sukumwa vile anatembea vile anakaa church kujiachilia hivi anakaa tuki madhungusto changamka guza mtu mwambie changamka changamkia Mungu anza ku serve God haleluya Let me see those who serve in this house if you serve anywhere if you serve anywhere hata vile mnainua mkono mnainua ni kama amko sure nasema kama unajua una serving Jennifer kuja ni kuombea kuanzia leo una serve kwa hospitality nimekupromote mwaka huu ndio mwaka wako wa adva tuko mwaka wa advancement new levels new season father in the name of jesus i thank you for jenny i declare a new season in our life a season of advancement for how do we advance we advance as we serve god how do we advance we advance in kingdom service we advance in our dedication to the altar i release the grace of god the favor of god the power of god the anointing that flows upon my life and upon this altar let it flow upon you let it speak over your life let it open greater doors even doors you have not seen may your desire for this year be granted even as you serve receive the anointing receive the grace receive the power in the name of jesus may you fly like an eagle may you will walk with the boldness of a lion receive the courage of an eagle in Jesus name and may every step you make from now may the Lord establish it may God give you stamina on the altar as you serve him receive the grace in Jesus name bigia yesu makofi mwaka huu na anointing moja ya ku advance watu kwa kazi ya Mungu nikikushika mkono hivi nikikuita hapa umeenda mbele umesonga mbele Hallelujah. Nione tena wale mnasahau. Unaona mimi? Unainua sasa, unasahau. Ushaanza. Kwa hiyo maombi umepromotiwa kusahau. Kuja, 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 kuja. Hallelujah. Pigie huyo dada makofi. At your hospitality hawana members. Sasa hiyo ina grow. Ina grow in lips. Nyosheni mikono juu kwa jina la Yesu naachilia neema ya kutumika Esther today I raise you and I advance you to a new season in kingdom service from now receive the courage receive the boldness receive the impartation receive the anointing that flows upon my life and on this altar may you receive the courage of a lion and the boldness of an eagle may your life ever have a splendor as you serve God receive the grace receive the stamina receive the courage receive the strength shakaya may you flare to a new level of grace and power in Jesus name new levels aha uh-huh. another let me see where you serve you are already serving maroshe beloka tamarika sakaya meme mezo toro bobo bosaka eh hey, pigia yesu makofi hallelujah remind me your name sir remind me your name samuel motisia from now you are serving in the kingdom amen amen from now you are beginning to serve in the kingdom of god so ulitoka kwa shetani ukakuja kwa mungu kitu moja common katikati ya ufalme wa ngiza na ufalme wa nuru both kingdoms demand somebody to serve haleluya so from now you are a kingdom steward you are serving in the kingdom 
Now while you were there, the Spirit of God told me, you will do very well in that department. No, 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 sound. Kuna itaji mutu akisema amen. Anambukisa hawa watu wanaka hapo. Nimekuwa nsisikia amen hapo. Nataka ukienda hivo. Uvuruge na amen. Ukiwa pale kwa kamera. Unasema hallelujah. Wanatingika. Receive the anointing. Right now in the name of Jesus. Mutunga. I release the anointing Mutisia. I release the anointing of God and the power of the Holy Ghost and the anointing that flows upon my life and on this altar it flows upon you right now from now you are a different man from now you are a different man you will never be the same I release the grace the power the courage of an ego the boldness of a lion may you soar to a new level even in every aspect of your life as you begin to serve this year I advance you I give you stamina I give you courage I give you boldness in the name of Jesus you will not be a common man you will not be common again kingdom service translates you to a level of honor receive the impartation and the grace and the favor and the anointing in Jesus name the Lord says as you shall begin there you are beginning there coming here you shall preach the gospel you will be a serious evangelist in your generation utaubiri Africa Asia utaenda China kibiashara utaenda China kuubiri maraso de leshedo utaenda kule watu wenu hawakufika receive the anointing and the power and the grace hey salabaya you will break what your people did not break you will do what your people did not do receive the anointing hey may rivers flow may many come to know the lord because of you may you have a, a voice May your voice be like the roaring of a lion in your generation. Hey, Shalabaya, I see your wedding day. Ila mazobea, mando rebeke sakata, kula basobe lesta. You will never be the same again. You are not a common man. You are a jewel, you are a gem. Receive that grace as you serve faithfully. God will surprise you. From tonight you will begin to receive revelations. Heavenly visitations. Receive the anointing and the grace. In Jesus name. Kama una wivu piga makofi mazuri. Zalo perebe shaka. Masoko peko takala. Maraba shando rebe staka. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. It takes strength to serve God. Na waandikia nyinyi vijana kwa sababu mnazo nguvu. Nisikize nikwambie kitu. Nisikize nikwambie kitu. Shetani ana kitu chake original. Yeye ni mwizi. Angalia mtu mwambie shetani ni mwizi. Shetani ana kitu chake original wale vijana unaona wanafanya vitu huko nje za kishetani ni nguvu zao zimeibiwa zitumike kutumika kwa ufalme wanaibiwa nguvu yao let me tell you kuona msichana anatembea uchi soko ni nguvu ni nguvu yake imeibiwa ikageuzwa badala atumike akijengeka anatumika akimalizwa ukiwaona huko prostitutes ni nguvu yao imetapeliwa na shetani akageuziwa kile kingemjenga kinamubomoa badala hiyo nguvu impeleke levo ingine hiyo nguvu inatumiwa na shetani imubomoe imumalize nakataa kuibiwa sema nguvu yangu i will not be perverted my strength will not be perverted man i see grace upon you 
I see the anointing of God upon you. Maroste bekezaya, marakato kobasa kada, shopeles tokaya, mazadaraba. You will praise God. You will praise God in your generation. You will lift your hands like this, and worship will be flowing within you. And not just worship, but you will preach at the same time. You will do. You will have a prophetic voice that is wash, that is that has a backup in worship, and at the same time you will be preaching. Lift up your hands to heaven. Maresto pakataya. Lift up your hands, everybody. As I pray for him, an impartation flows even to you. Zalali labashata. I release the anointing and the power of the Holy Ghost. Ilando bakhesaya. Masete ke belo zaya. Indareza kataka. Your word says once you have spoken and twice I have heard that power belongs to God. Once you have spoken and twice I have heard that power belongs to God. Receive the power to become. Receive the power to become. As he has said, so shall it be. You will not be perverted. You will not be diverted. Your destiny is assured. Your future is clear. Your vision is clear. Receive wings. Receive flight. I declare may the Holy Ghost carry you. May worship flow like a mighty river. May worship flow. May worship flow like a mighty river. Take it. Take it. Take it. Mazata Rabaya. Lobezeketa. There you go. You will begin to sing songs in the spirit. You will not just sing songs of men, but you shall compose songs in the spirit while on the altar. Marendo sapaka kayana na mazike kete kita malala sopele kita take it, brother, take it out of your belly shall flow rivers. That river that makes glad the city of God. Fire is upon you. Anointing is flowing upon you. Ay, 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 you will venture in realms that men have not ventured. Realms of the spirits. Where you will download Rabazuka and generations and destinies will be recovered and healed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Put your hands together and celebrate the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Oh my God. Somebody shout strength. Shout again strength. Have your seat in the presence of God. Now, I want to be very brief. Somebody shout strength. One I'm, impartation I'm carrying tonight is an impartation of strength. Listen. If there is a generation, now mark my words because I'll be very brief. If there is a generation that is existing in a difficulty is our generation. If there is a generation, Salimia mtu mwingine, wacha ule umekuwa kusalimia. Mwambie pastor amesema kama kuna kizazi, hata kama uko nyuma rusha mkono huko nyuma. Mwambie kama kuna kizazi kinaishi katika nyakati ngumu. Ni kizazi chetu ugumu wa ukatili wa kumkataa Mungu ugumu unataka kupendeza Mungu lakini umezungukwa na uovu maroho ya anasa unajisi mwingi utapeli mwingi deception corruption defilement corruption 
listen. Listen. It will take strength to rise up in this generation and lift the banner of Christ. It will take strength to walk in holiness. Because everything in your generation is defying holiness. Everything in this generation, the level of perversion, the level of wickedness, the level of immorality, the level of evil is so high. We are living in days in the words of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. They can only be compared to the days of Noah. And that is why Jesus would say in the gospel of Matthew chapter 24. As it they were in the days of Noah. So shall it be in the coming of the son of man. How if you will survive in these days. You need to ask yourself how were the days of Noah. There were days of difficult. Men were so evil. Men were so evil that they gave birth to giants, evil beings that did not love God, neither reference God, neither honor God. They called evil good. And good evil. Those are difficult days. Listen to me. Touch your neighbor for me. Tell your neighbor. Listen to what the mouth of the man of God is saying. Listen. Listen. When a generation begins to call evil good. And good evil. Those are difficult days when when listen when you want to live for God put that scripture put that scripture on the screen when they call evil good and evil good evil listen those are difficult days when you live good you are abused when you do good you are you are mocked when you do good you are you are looked down upon and the Bible says, What to those who call evil good and good evil in a generation? Okesema ujalala na kijana, unaonekana kama wewe ni fala. Wewe ni mushamba, unaonekana ni kama wewe ujashanuka. Icho ni kizazi kiovu. Look at us. What sorrow for those who say that evil and good, that dark is light and light is dark, that bitter is sweet and sweet is bitter. Those are evil days. When you say you have never drunk, they look at you funny. Mustana. Okay, you listen. Oh, may I end? May I end a rev? When I listen a rev, ni ni ni. Kwanza wana kucheka. Wana kucheka le. Una uliswa. Wana ulisana. Kuwa kuwa ni kama ukoju. Ni kulisana mazewo me kuwa na wamamanzi wangapi. Ume kuwa na machali wangapi. Ion di your fashion. Ion di your kuka ni kama uko trendy. Listen to me. That. Is evil. But I see God raise a remnant. I say men of strength, men of boldness, women of courage, who do not care, who do not fear. They have chosen good. They have chosen the sweet. They have chosen the light. Listen, listen, the statistics this week, 
as saying an average man in Kenya, I'm not a Kenyan. With those statistics, I must say, I'm not a Kenyan man. I refuse. An average man has seven women. The devil is a liar. Lift up your hand and say the devil is a liar. We are the remnants of this generation. I say we are the remnants. Where they are clustering counties that have more relational affairs. We are being called an affair forged nation. An affair nation. I am not of that generation. I don't belong. When it comes to those statistics, I refuse to be that Kenya. I refuse to fit in those news. I am a different man. The spirit in me is different. I am walking in the fear of God. I love Jesus. I refuse to call evil good. A generation where a gay who died two weeks ago can be called a pastor. Who's pastor? Is it a pastor or a pastor? I hate it. It is sin. God hates it. It is not true. LGBT is not true. There is only one order. The order of Adam and Eve. Not James and John. Where even cockerels have knowledge than men. I was called by a teacher on one of the national schools in this country that teachers are sodomizing one another. I said, oh my God, where are the students? Teachers. Teachers sodomizing one another. So how will those children, how will those students survive? That is why you need to listen to me and you need to receive the impartation to go in that school. Now, kiskia wakifungwa na dom, boot, usiku, ona pigan duru, ona sema makayanto le masaya. Kile kizazi kiovu kumbe kiko apa. Useme nini mo melaniwa, musipo tubo. Yes, where they are printing exercise books that have types of families. And one of the types of families, it is two men and a child. From where? How? We are not, we cannot be deceived. Yeah. That is called deception. Guza mutu tingi. Sukuma ye na nikamo kona asira ya kino. Mwambie yo inaito uongo ya shaitani. Uongo muchana adharani. Tumema Lisa. Yes. In this generation, you cannot walk with white eyes. You need your eyes red. Amen. Mi wazi nitisha, nda piganduru na nisoma salt, kiro. Nikilanda hapa utakuwa umekonvert. Angalia jirani mwambi, stop behaving like you are, you are too good. Good is not, a, is not a fruit of the Holy Ghost. Since the days of John the Baptist, this kingdom of God suffers violence, sister. Violent, come out our lower, Lazimo, go violent. On your new and rugu, on a van of Ingo from Butiat and Gay when I punga, Shaitan, Shauriak. I'm going to go and I call him now. We quarter again to join and their tongues. Mazoko Boko Soko Pacata, Mira Sote Malagiste. No, yet much on and their tongues. Corima. Hallelujah. Ndugu nasika uso wane. Kori masandala ya. Hallelujah. Sarabu. 
We are coming. We are right. May God raise an army in this generation. Look at that wickedness. Kenyan men have an average of seven sexual partners. Women to survey. I refuse. I am a remnant. We defy. Point your finger. We defy. We defy that. It is not true. It is not true. We announce to you. Your evil spirit. Your spirit from the pit of hell. Your spirit of deception. We cast you. was not given to women and even when crisis came they still remained Mudula later crisis was if his cri our crisis even every child born is in that crisis but our work was Listen to me. The reason we emphasize bring your be married in a holy wedding and bring it to the altar. Sio kwenda huko mnafanya vitu mnaita traditional wedding. Then mukicha maliza hiyo mnakata keki huko. Na muna ambiwa ni wana yungwa kibeti. Umepewa muke na waze. Basi muka na waze huko mstulete. Na mupigi yangwe maombi. Na mbuzi. Meee. 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 Lakini kama unataka neema yonge yange kwa ulimu yungwa kero. Mukimalisa huko muna kuja haba. Na swali hile ndakuwa nauliza kutoka sasa. Netakatifu. No, no, even Anju. Women are wives. Oh, no, not to book on a chua. No, you could believe it to the name Zenata Tisa Hank. Galeo Mazongosto. An affair nation. I saw that news. An a full, an a fair full nation, not us. I am a royal priesthood. I am a chosen generation. Ile kitu ni unsaidia. Nekatika hizo statistics zao. Machako za yapi anywhere. Ni mekesha tunaomba. Na wakamba ndi walikuwa na julikana kuwa atari. Lakini mtu mungu tu. Atikule nilitua muka wangu sa ndi wanaongosa. Thank God nilikutua huko. You don't belong there. Wacha kuomba hivi maombi ni kama umemesa sakaramenti. Omba ukinua mikono na ukipiganduru. Ebu inua mikono. Listen, listen, listen. This is difficult to be living in such a time. That is, such a time is a difficult time. Because what, listen, let me show you what media does. They, po, they are trying to popularize this. This is now what is in Instagram. This is what is in Twitter. This is what is in TikTok. This is what is in everything. Do you know why? They have an agenda. And it is not true. Yeah, it's not true. It's an agenda. This thing is, there is something behind. There is an agenda being pushed behind this. And it is to legalize polygamy. We will Google them before they do it. This is an agenda. Listen, and I'm a prophet. You will hear it in parliament. This one. But it shall not stand the light of the day. Thank God we have a Christian president. This is a, there is an agenda. And do you know what? They began it in a way with the testing kits for DNA. So from the testing kits of DNA, 
I late last month. Now this month they have brought this. Next month they have something else. But we, we shoot it down. It shall not arch. May it miscarry. Now, you need strength. In such a generation, it's a difficult generation, you need strength. Exodus 13 verse 3. Nani malizi hapo? Saze tu zimeisha. Yo musta, zimu mbambata point. Salimia mutu muambia nani, ustakange kukunyo ndawa yote, unawonja kidogo, inakunyo wangu na ndoses. Kama jirani yako wakuangaleshi, welewe, it is difficult. It is very difficult. Tangu ukaya hapo, jirani ya ongei na wewe, ujue hicho kizazi ni kile tunaongea. Very difficult generation. Ebu tusome, inasema ni? Then Moses said to the people, commemorate this day, the day you came out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery, because the Lord brought you out of it with a mighty end. Eat nothing containing yeast. Listen, commemorate this. Uh, that is what I was looking for. Kumbe umajazo. That is what I was looking for. And Moses said to them people, Remember this day in which you went out of Egypt, out of the house of bondage, for by strength of the hand of the Lord brought you out of this place. No living bread shall be eaten. Listen, to survive in this generation and in the difficult times we are living in. To come out of this generation different. May the strength of of the hand of the Lord be upon you. Amen. You can only survive in this generation with the hand, with the strength of the hand of God upon you. Kupona kwa iki kizazi ni mukono wanguvu wa zabwana Ukiwa juu yako. Usipo ufanya hivu. Utanajiziwa na kizazi. Utagula vitu zikona chachu. Anaambiwa. Musile. Ilio na chachu. Eka kwa kiswa hili. Wangalia kama nilipiti. Ni chachu ama ni nini. Eka kwa kiswa hili. Na wala kiswa hili ziyo yako. Unakatana na kiswa hili yetu. Ebu somen. Hey. Soma kama jirani yako asome uelewe kizazi ni kingumu. Musa kawaambia how watu kumbukeni siku hii mulio toka inji ya Misri kutoka nyumba ya utumwa kwa kuwa Bwana aliwatoa mahali apa kwa nguvu za mkono wake na usile mkate ulio chachwa usiishi maisha ya chachu uzinzi ni chachu umalaya ni chachu pornography ni chachu masturbation ni chachu Kata kuwekwa chachu. Si usaidi tumubiria jirani yako. Tingiza ye. Iki kizazi na nyakati tunazo ishi. Ni nyakati watu wanawekwa chachu. Kata chachu ya kizazi chako. Kuchachu. Kuchachu. Na kata kuwekwa chachu ya kizazi changu iki kizazi kikona chachu iki kizazi kikona chachu ile mapicture mmeona hapo ni chachu hiyo ni chachu they are trying to they are trying to make it look common they are trying to commonalize it so that it can look normal and it can look like it is true it is not it is not. It is not true. Affairs are not true. It is wickedness.
Affairs are not true. Mumepata nguvu. Mimi nawaombea nguvu. Nguvu za Roho Mtakatifu. Sikiza dada, sikiza ndugu, kushinda kizazi hiki. Kukaa hapa, nani? Niket. Kukaa kwa hiki kizazi ukiwa mtakatifu. You need strength. Strength to say no to sin. Strength to look at a man and tell him you will not touch this body. No yambo tu la matanze. Asua mino moneni yamo. Yaani hiyo mato umemwangalisha na unaitema chini. Ugoma kazalika kwa sababu asipochess asipokaa vizuri utamweka laini moja na mabebo. Angalia mjirani mwambie kaa vizuri ama upitishwe malaini moja na madhongost. You have to fight to sustain a marriage in this generation. You have to fight spiritual battles. Listen. 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 Majority of this generation are coming from single farm parents. In the speech in the speech of the former president of the Republic of Kenya his last speech on Madaraka Day at Jamhuri grounds he said for the last 10 years single families has increased at the highest rate in this nation i come myself from a single parent i was raised by my mother i have met my father i met my father when i have that two teeth when my dental formula is complete is when he came to introduce himself to me and the populace of that has increased the former president on his last speech in this country on madaraka day you can go to youtube and listen he said for the last 10 years single families have raised at the highest in this country to survive from such a family and come out different look at my eyes and look at my eyebrows it takes strength not of bread and meat but spiritual strength ask me i've fought battles to be where i am and to break some patterns And when I tell you you need to seek God for strength you should hear me because the person talking to you comes from a single family in the demographics of the United States of America there are prisons three quarters of the inmates in prisons in America as we sit here and you can google three quarters of the inmates are single parent children and the problem comes in here listen to me you are privileged if you are from single parent and you are brought to church when children were being taken to church i was taken to the bar When children were being told to memorize memory verses I was told to take tasker and genius It took listen and you should listen to me because I'm talking to you with passion and I'm talking to you with love because I've seen God help me ilichukua mkono wa Bwana 
mimi kutoka kwa hiyo familia na kufanya ndoa takatifu I am the first grandchild son of my grandfather to do a holy wedding first first grandchild wale wengine watoto wale wanajulikana ni watatu wawili hivi kutoka mabibi wawili watatu wale hawajulikani ndio wengi kuliko wale wanajulikana they are evangelists of another kingdom na ni chachu ni chachu rao kuwasomea kama mstari kamoja na nimalize kwa sababu mimi Mungu ananitumianga kufunulia watu na kufungua macho na wale wametoka kwa familia hebu niangalieni vizuri na rao kuwaponya nimepewa jukumu kuponya kizazi wale wametoka kwa familia ziko na baba na mama pia ni wengi lakini hao baba na mama wanaishi they survive as roommates and many a times are when wrestling is more in those homes an in an estimated 6 thank you an estimated 684500 state and federal prisoners were parents of at least one minor child 2016 nearly half of state prisoners 47% and more than half of federal prisoners 58% that american demographics i'm not giving you statistics from the street because it's an agenda of the kingdom of darkness to destroy a generation and we are not ashamed wale mmetoka single parents mimi nawaongoza inua mkono ama wewe ni single parent inua mkono tuko category moja pastor na wewe tuko mzoni moja na lazima tupigane vitu unaogopa kwa nini kwani wewe unaitwa single si inua mkono tukotoka huko tumetrolewa na bwana yes na wale hapa mmetoka mahali mmeacha dadi na mami lakini ni taekwondo zabure wrestling amwangalia ngile ya ww mnaangalia anga ya kameo na mahali wanaongelejana vera na na mahali huyo baba ni baba kwa jina ni baba kwa sane au mwanangi aki disappear It's, look at that state and federal prisoners reported having an estimated 1,473,700 minor children in 2016 it is not different in kenya here at maximum prison in machakos and i want to open your eyes and show you something ndio wacha kukaa ni kama unaleta mchezo kwa vitu zile serious you can be used by the devil to hurt a generation or to heal a generation god has helped me na nilipigana na nimepigana vita mingi watoto wametoka hizo family damu inaendanga times 3 wale wengine ikienda na speed ya 500 una double 1500 speed per kilometer miles not even speed The evolving face of the Kenyan family is characterized in 2019 national census where families aided by single parents rose from 25.1% in 2009 to 38.2 in 2019 he said even checked this is the speech of the president even checked this trend shall destroy the fundamental character of Kenyan and reap and told her, on to our most vulnerable and precious members of society our children wacha kucheza na wanaume funga miguu wewe sio kioski na wewe kijana wacha kwenda ukisambasa kusambasamba sambamba mbegu kila mahali kaa vizuri sikiza nikwambie kitu nikufonye kwa sababu unahubiriwa gospel ya grace 
has finished it all. It is not finished when there is a child crying somewhere and you are not supporting that child. Akilia hivi. Boss anakuma, anakuvuta. Huyo mtoto akimwaga machozi kwa maana hana karo akuoni. Unago unaanza kuumwa na mifupa na uko 32. Akilia tena nywele inaanza kumwagika peke yake. Kuza jirani mwambie nani hebu finya jirani mkono mwambie nani tuokoke. <laughs> hivi tu tunaona hapa ika vizuri. Kama unajua uko na mtoto ako mahali and you are not supporting that child. My friend you need to see me. I give you wisdom. Because your f- it mbele haiko sawa. Muna ukiona mwanaume anaangalia chini uelewe ni suspect. <laughs> Ule unaona angalia pasta. Na semi amen. Uelewa anatafakari hizo statistics. Anajiona ndani. Tuache hapo. Ataka kuonesha kama mstari. Mimi napenda neno la Mungu ndio limeniponya. Niangalie ni macho. Mimi wacha wewe unatuzumbua tu unataka kwenda kuonja. Mimi nilipelekangwa naekewa hivi naambiwa kunywa. Na ingekuwa wale watoto tulilewa pamoja huu muji. They are six feet down. Six feet down. To tell you the only salvation is in the Lord lift up your hands and say Jesus you are my strength and you are my only hope inwa mkono vizuri acha kuinua ni kama una jeep by thong grass theory hapa tuna uta mungu hoya la masoko poko tokosi ya mandi ya daya kosi mendo robo boko sopere bese ke pelakus have mercy on me lord help me lord robo shadai i cannot make it without you Help this generation oh God. Help us oh God. We need your mercy and your grace. 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 Turumie bwana kama kizazi. My God atutaondoka kwa madhabahu. Inua sauti yako mwambie bwana nifiche kwa madhabahu. Sitaondoka kwa madhabahu. Najificha kwa madhabahu yako. Hapo kuna uponyaji wangu. Hoi, shalala la bosa. Kwa madhabahu yako ndio kuna uponyaji wa kizazi changu. Kwa madhabahu. Niende wapi pengine? Niende wapi pengine? Niende wapi pengine? Niende wapi pengine? Na kwako ndio kuna uzima. Na kwako ndio kuna usalama. Na kwako ndio kuna uponyaji. Hoi. Hoi. Zalale la la gada gada gada. Moko sopelo katariba. Mendori bala gada gaya. Mesoba rasote. Thank you Jesus. Listen. Let me close this. Our time is already gone. You forgive me. How many of you forgive me? But you say pastor umetuponya. Have you forgiven me? I've not kept time today, but I want to show you something. Malachi chapter 2. No, write it down, don't open. Malachi chapter 2. I want you to give me the scripture that says from verse 10, for you have sought for a godly offspring. <laughs> for you have sought for a godly seed ara kufungua macho hata ukiota utaotanga na maandiko hii maneno ya kuola na skota kuota na skola stika na ujaoa na mungoanisha na wa separate hebu soma hii mstari ndio nikuponye look at this but he did not make them one 
having a remnant of the spirit and why one look at that and why one because he seeks godly offspring therefore take it to your spirit and let none deal treacherously with the wife of his youth i want to show you something why the corruption why lgbt why this single parent a lot of single children for the other day we were dealing with teenage pregnancies listen the issue is not the parents it is to defile a seed an offspring mototo alie toka kwa familia single kwa sababu ya uhusiano wa kimapenzi usio katika misingi ya alali ya kifamilia kuna ushambulizi mwingi katika hatima yake ni kwa maana only god's offspring can come and shoot forth from a family outside the order of god there is a distortion of that word godly offspring na si wafundishi hizi vitu muanze kumeza vidonge kama uko hapa na hujaolewa na umebeba pitu you are a you are a perpetuator of evil hujaolewa na umeweka coil umeweka nani tutafanya musako hapa siku moja Niambiwa mama waingie kwa kila handbag ya msichana. Waangalie tukipata umebeba mapitembe. Tunakuombea tukiwa tunakumwaosha tunakuosha na anointing oil. Round ya mo amwevi. Round hii mnapona. Na hii message kama uko Facebook uchukue na ushe kwa wali yako if you are a godly offspring. Ushe saa hii na wende ukae chini uisikize. Mimi ku survive. I was sought not to be a godly offspring. Why the prisons are full? It is the distortion of the godly offspring. Can I tell you something? Look at me and thank God that you are in this church. I can tell you the truth I'm telling you mercy. Do you know why? Because by the reason of you coming under the grace the commission and the anointing on this altar i beget you even if your father left you i beget you you become a son you are safe so the single parents in this church you are safe your children will not go off i beget you in the spirit i beget you i will cover you i will i'll make sure that of spring is not distorted lift up your hands and begin to call on god stand on our feet in the name of Jesus Hallelujah bwana niguze tena minaomba bwana uniguze inua mikono yako sema niguze niguze ba
lift up your hands before the Lord and just talk to God in Jesus' mighty name. As you tell him tonight, I consecrate my life in the name of the Lord. I don't have to lead you in a prayer. Just lift up your hands in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I always believe in praying after our word. Make sure you pray for yourself even as you finish our service tonight in the name of the Lord. Tell the Lord, Father, my commitment, my commitment, oh God. I am committed to the cause. I am committed to the cause, my Father. Come and lift up your hands, young girl, and tell the Lord, I am committed to the cause. I shall not form any statistics in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are the light of the world. We are the salt of the world. We are the Shia A city set on a hill that cannot be hidden in the mighty name of Jesus. And we declare tonight that we have received the word in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to pray for you tonight in the name of the Lord. Father, we thank you. We give you glory because of every soul that has heard your word tonight in the name of Jesus. And Father, I pray that you may help us, oh God. Paul already gave us a secret of living in the light. He said that I pray, dear brethren, that you offer your bodies as living sacrifices. I pray for this dear once everyone at the hearing of my voice, that Lord, our lives shall be living sacrifices. For this is the pleasing, this is what is pleasing to the Father. This is the true worship when our lives are living sacrifices on the altar of the Most High God. I see some hands are very low. If you mean to lift up your hands in the name of Jesus, lift them a bit there. in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we surrender tonight even more in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we surrender even much more. I declare in this service, none shall form any statistics in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I don't care what your background is. The Bible says that you are a royal priesthood. You are a holy nation. You are a people of God. I declare the men of valor in this house shall remain men of valor. I declare the women in this house my father they shall be daughters pillars in the house of the lord in the mighty name of jesus i secure your body sir i secure them to the altar in the mighty name of jesus sir. you are not defilable you are not corruptible in the mighty name of the lord i declare your desire your affection sir shall be set on the father above i call your affection, sir, to be set on the King of Kings, sir, and the Lord of Lords, sir. I give you appetite for the word. I give you appetite for the Holy Ghost, sir, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord. Father, we give you glory. We give you praise because you're wonderful. In Jesus' mighty and precious name we pray. If you believe that prayer, you better shout a big amen in Jesus' name. Shout a big amen like you've given your body to the Lord tonight. I said you shout a big amen. amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do I have living sacrifices in the house tonight? Uh -uh. Do I have living sacrifices in the house tonight? I do not mean living. I mean living. Walio kwa madhabau ni dhabihu na inaishi. Geukia mpendo mwambie tamani kuwa dhabihu inayoishi. Dhabihu inamanisha ni kitu ambacho tayari kimetolewa kama dhabihu. Lakini kinaishi. Bwana asifiwe sana. Bile mnanyamaza. Bwana asifiwe sana. Geukia mwingine mwambie wewe ni dhabihu inayoishi. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. You shall never be counted among such statistics in Jesus name. Hallelujah. The men in this house, you shall never have appetite for more than one woman in Jesus' name. The women in this house, you shall never move with two men in the mighty name of Jesus. That is the lie of the devil. Glory to God. May the Lord deliver you from listening to his word like it's theoretical. May you practicalize the word of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is possible for our generation to live in the light. 
Amen. And we do not need somebody here who is rapping for us to be to be excited about the things of God. Is that what you're waiting for? Are you waiting for somebody to come with a low, low worn trouser in order for you to be excited? If you know that you're blessed, put your hands together and celebrate Jesus once again in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As you bring your offering to the front, please bring your offering to the front in Jesus' name. Let us